Hello everyone, I'm teacher Julio from English Bay and today I am on the beach. Yes, this area is called Repina and belongs to St. Petersburg. This is a bit away from the city and I'll be able to show you one of the most fantastic things I have ever seen. A frozen sea. This is the Gulf of Finland. It starts in Finland but circles around passing by Russia and up to Estonia. The sea that you can see over there is the Baltic Sea. And I remember vividly the first time I was here in the winter a few years ago and see the sea completely frozen. It was unimaginable that as far as my eyes could see it was completely frozen. It was inconceivable. Here's a vocabulary tip. Inconceivable means something that is impossible to think or imagine. As I said, the idea that the whole sea could be frozen was inconceivable to me at the time. I couldn't even think or imagine that was possible. Where I'm standing right now is the beach, right? Under my feet is where the sand would be. I mean, where the sand is, but under this thick layer of ice. I am on the seashore. Shore is where the water meets the land. In the sea or in a lake or a river, this is the seashore, but we, I'm not going to be standing on the seashore. It's time to go offshore and walk on the waters. Follow me if you dare. Time for me to get some rest. It's minus 20 degrees today. Yeah, 20 degrees below zero. It has been like this for over a month now. Negative temperatures all the time. That's how I can be sure that this is not going to crack. The ice is not going to thaw. Do you know this verb to thaw? Many of my students are familiar with the verbs to defrost and to melt, but they don't know this verb to thaw. It's pretty much the same as to defrost. It means to change from a frozen solid state to a liquid one because there has been an increase in temperature. The same way I can say I defrost food before I cook it, I could also say, for example, I have taken the chicken out of the freezer and let it thaw. And this verb to thaw is commonly used in such situations when you're talking about ice, snow, glaciers, etc. So to say that the snow is thawing is the same as saying it is defrosting or melting. Am I afraid that this ice might crack and I may fall through into the freezing water? Not at all. Actually, I do feel really safe here. I can stomp on it or whatever. It really feels like it's, it's petrified. It's like stone here under my feet. And besides me, I can see some fishermen, they are over there fishing, there are other people uh, skiing or simply walking like me. So, well, there are safety numbers, right? As you remember, I told you it's minus 20 degrees today, but to be honest, I don't feel that cold. You remember, I was walking till now, now I took a rest and I'm starting to feel cold, but it is important that you keep moving. If you keep walking, keep moving, you will certainly not feel cold even in such cold temperatures, especially in a day like today where there is no wind. It's not very windy today. There's actually a little sun over there, so you'll be fine as long as you keep moving. And of course, you have to wear a lot of clothes. I am wearing many layers of clothes. I'm wearing a coat, I'm wearing this coat, and under, I'm wearing a very thick sweater, and under that, another sweater, but a lighter one, a sweatshirt, and a t-shirt. I'm wearing a short-sleeved t-shirt. It's not even long-sleeved. So, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, two sweaters, and this coat, and besides that, I'm wearing my jeans, a pair of jeans, and under my jeans, my long johns, my long underwear, and also a pair of 
wool and gloves. It's important that your gloves are made of wool. Wool is the best material for such temperatures, in my opinion. So, wool and gloves, a wool and scarf, and a woolly, wool and beanie hat. In wool, we trust. Right over there in the distance, I think you cannot see it, you can't see it very well, but that's St. Petersburg, the cultural capital of Russia, the beautiful city where I live in. I am in Repina right now, remember? It took me around 40 minutes to come all the way over here. It's still considered to be part of St. Petersburg, this area is still St. Petersburg, and you can easily take a train 40 minutes and come over here. And uh, if you want to see the video I also made in St. Petersburg during the summer, where I show the famous White Knights of St. Petersburg and the main side of the city, you can click on this link and watch this video. I'm sure you will enjoy it. I better get going, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumb up and hit subscribe not to miss my following videos. I better get going because I'm starting to freeze. I'll see you next time. Study hard and travel safe. Bye-bye. Hey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our following videos, and check out our website at www.englishbay.net. Study hard!